In one of the last videos that I posted, I mentioned this box that I was working on for my nephew's birthday party, which is coming up this weekend. And it's a dinosaur-themed party. Um, and when Megan and I were looking at the gift registry for him, we became inspired to try to make our own box sort of um, archaeology dig uh, sort of toy experience. Um, and, you know, hopefully he's going to enjoy it. So that's the box that I was working on. I'm going to show you um, what it looks like in this current state that it's in before we actually start to bury um, some of the objects that we've made or that we're going to uh, put together um, and uh, bury with some other ingredients and things. So let me show you what's here. Okay, so I know this isn't really painting related or, you know, studio art related, but um, it is a sort of crafty project and it's kind of a, a fun thing that I thought would be cool to show. Um, so this is the box that I showed in one of the last videos. It's made with a bunch of scrap wood that I just had laying around in the garage. Um, and it's nice because everything fit together pretty smoothly obviously like the joints and stuff aren't perfect you know this is a gift for a four-year-old there's a chance that it could get broken down the road who knows so i didn't want to really invest too much time and too nice of materials into it but um for just being a bunch of scrap wood i'm really happy with how it turned out and um you know so it has this lid that just sort of fits snug um, on the top of the box. So you pull off the handle there. And if he wants to carry the box around, I've, I've added two small little wooden handles on the sides. And the whole thing has been sealed once with a polyacrylic urethane. And um, I might end up doing another coat now that I've painted these emblems and the top secret message on the outside of the box. The idea was to try to make this seem like it was a, um, a box that was put together by some sort of like dinosaur association and they're shipping it out to my nephew to sort of solve and to hopefully find the things that they've been looking for. So I wanted to make it seem like this really like confidential um, project um, and he's the one that has to sort of pull everything out and hopefully find the treasures that are inside of here. So I looked up a Tyrannosaurus Rex footprint uh, you know, symbol that I painted with acrylic paint. You can see the acrylics here. Um, that was all added in last night. So I think what I'll end up doing probably is like sanding it a little bit to make it look more weathered. And then I'll seal the whole thing again with one more coat of that polyacrylic. And then on the inside right now, um, obviously there's no dirt or um, other material, but I do have the three like fossils that he'll find in here. So the first one, and these are all made with a two-part epoxy called Magic Sculpt. I used to use this a lot for my work in grad school, and once or twice a year I seem to use it for different things, but uh, I figured this would be really, you know, perfect for making our own little dinosaur fossil. So we have this big dinosaur tooth that he'll uncover in the box, and uh, there's also a bone. It doesn't really look necessarily like a dinosaur bone, but it's not a huge box. So we just sort of made this um, kind of like, almost like dog bone looking toy um, that he'll uncover as well. So that'll be pretty cool to see his reaction when he finds that. And then um, Megan, who teaches science, told me that uh, one of the like local, um, prehistoric fossils that um, do exist in Wisconsin, because there really aren't that many that have been found in Wisconsin, um, is this trilobite um, fossil. So I looked that up and sculpted this based off of that. So this will be the third like dinosaur fossil piece that he'll uncover in there. And then I think we might, we, we have some Easter eggs from um, Easter still that we might tape up and bury in here too. And Maybe we'll put some candy or something in those. Um, and then we're also thinking to add in a little letter or note from that association or organization that we're going to just sort of make up. But um, I just wanted to show you the project um, in process here or, you know, in progress and, um, you know, show you before we bury everything what these things looked like um, since I mentioned this in one of the other videos.
So, um, it's been a couple days since I took the last video, but today is my nephew's birthday party. And um, we've tried to make sure that the cornstarch um, mixture was gonna be dry. We were hoping it'd be like all the way dried out and kind of a hard crust um, type of consistency, but there was so much water in the mixture that it just hasn't dried out. And it's been a pretty like humid and cool uh, week. So the weather really did not help us um, with this process as much as we were hoping it would. But um, it'll still be really fun for him to carve out the different bones that we made for him. Now we are gonna hide some um, leftover Easter eggs. Some of them have uh, wrapped candy in them. Um, a couple of them have dollar bills in them. So it's kind of a fun little mixture. And we had a bunch of rocks from our, our backyard that we're gonna put in right now. Um, in a second, uh, I have to go over to Home Depot and pick up a couple things for frames, but I'll grab a bag of sand that we'll, we're gonna plan to put as, as kind of like the top layer over the rocks. I think he'll enjoy the process of digging things out and the box uh, will be kind of a fun little memento for him to hang on to. You know, we were a little bit sad because um, some of the corners were not perfectly sealed with the polyurethane. So the moisture from the cornstarch uh, like soaked into small areas of the MDF. Um, overall, I'm, I'm happy with how well it held up against the cornstarch stuff, but um, this is probably going to take a little bit of the integrity off of the strength of the box. So um, hopefully it's not that big of a deal. I think after he digs everything out and once the box dries out all the way, we could always do another coat of the polyurethane. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the eggs in with the rocks and uh, write up the note and head over to Home Depot. This is gonna be really fun to watch him open up. It's cool just to see the, uh, the eggs stuck in the rock like that too. So here's the note. It's really fun to just kind of make this up as we went along. Um, so I'm gonna fold this up and stick it in the bottom of the lid with probably like some blue painter's tape. That way uh, he doesn't miss it when he opens the box. So there it is all wrapped up and it's uh, canvas. Looks pretty cool. I think it feels like a piece of history and archeology. span So what do you think, Megan? You think he'll like it? I think so. Cool. Four year old treasure box. That's right. So we're not gonna show the unboxing step of this just for privacy stuff, but um, that's pretty much the end of the video. I hope, uh, hope this was fun to watch and thanks for watching. Have a nice day.